When I um, create my own course, this is what it looks like. This is a pretty basic course. This is the one I used for my grade 7 tech class. And uh, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what you're looking at here. So if I look um, right here, I've got uh, a picture that I set for my course. So uh, this logo here is for a computer programming language that we were using called Scratch. So that's why I made that the logo for my course. But you can make it whatever you'd like. Um, and if I look down here, I have course options. I can click there and I can edit stuff about my course, change privacy settings, and moderate posts, uh, which means uh, moderating posts means you can um, look at things that were posted by students and um, decide whether or not they stay on the web page. Um, updates about my courses can be posted here. So I've made a few uh, ones in the past here for my grade 7 course, and I put a few. Uh, just fake ones in here a second ago, so remind uh, a reminder to bring a protractor and gym shoes to class. But I don't have to just post reminders here. I could post a file or a link to something. So maybe I find something relevant in the news and I want everyone to check it out. Not necessarily an assignment, just something of interest. And I could go ahead and post that here. and it'll show up just in the course feed. So those of you familiar with Facebook, it, it'll look like, uh, it'll be, it'll show up just like a Facebook feed. And you've also got your grade book, your attendance on the left here, and members. If I go into members, uh, that's where I can um, check to see that my students are in the course. If I want to, I can remove them from a course or help them change their password. I can see what the course looks like if I were logged in as them. So this is a good way to see what it looks like for your students going into your into your course. And you'll notice it looks very similar to what it looks like for you. Um, let me just jump back to the main page here. So that was members. I also have analytics. And what this does is it shows me how many people are looking at my site. So I can see uh, I had a lot of people checking out this course on May 15th, so there must have been something due around then. I can see I had a low point here of eight people. There's another one of zero on May 20th. I can look at users and it'll show me uh, the number of posts they've made, the last um, time they were accessing the course, their last login. Um, I can see assignments and it's pulling up statistics about my assignments, so how many people viewed each assignment, and all that sort of stuff, so I can click by assignment to check it out. So here it's showing me statistics about one specific assignment. I can show statistics about discussions and links that I post as well, which is pretty neat. Um, so back on the main page for my course, that was the left side. Down here, uh, you can see right now I'm clicked on the Materials tab, and that brings up some sort of sub-options here. I've got Assignments, Online Tests, Files and Links, Discussion, Photo Albums, and Pages. This photo album might be a great place to post pictures of things going on in your classroom. Um, and But I'm going to get into all this stuff a little bit later on. On the far right-hand side, you can see Reminders. So these reminders are specific to me. I have 15 ungraded Dropbox items and 18 ungraded discussions. Um, and then the last thing here is anything that's upcoming will show up. So it might say, oh, you have an assignment that's, uh, you've made an assignment that's due this Friday. Or to a student that would show up as, you have an assignment due this Friday. Uh, I can add an event to this calendar. So it doesn't have to just be an assignment. I can go ahead and say add event. I can say when. Uh, let's make it for tomorrow. Junior school closing. But anything you want. And you can invite people and have RSVPs, but I'll just leave that disabled. And I can link thing, put a link in if I wanted to, or attach a file to it, which is pretty cool. I can uh, add an end time as well. So let's say this is something that runs over several days if I wanted to. And then I could create that event. Now it'll show up here in my feed of things that are upcoming. And that'll show up for my students too because they're part of this course. So it adds to this course calendar. So again, if I push here, I can check it out. Here it is, junior school closing. And I can see a day view as well if I want to. 
which would be like that. So if I click on a specific day, it shows up. Whatever's on that day, I can click some stuff in the past so you can see we had an assignment due there on the 8th and a discussion due on the 1st. Um, okay, so that is a quick overview of what your course looks like. I'm going to get into a lot more detail about course materials next.